Welcome to my lecture online. In the previous video, we saw that it took a little over one hour and 20 minutes to use a solar oven, a solar cooker, to take one liter of water, 20 degrees Celsius, and raise it to the boiling point. Now the question is, how fast can we do it with a gas stove? So let's assume we have a gas stove that has burners that deliver as much as 10,000 BTUs per hour. That's kind of a typical value. Some do a little bit less, some do a little bit more, but let's take 10,000 BTUs per hour and let's assume that it's about 50% efficient, meaning that about 50% of the energy delivered by the burner actually makes it into the water. The other 50% is lost by radiation and heat escaping along the pot. So, how long will it take for an oven like this with a burner like this to raise one liter of water from 20 degrees Celsius to the boiling point? Now we need to know a few things about BTUs. A BTU is the energy that's equivalent to 1,055 joules. A BTU is the energy to take one pound of water and raise it by one degree Celsius. No, nope, not one degree Celsius, one degree Fahrenheit. So one BTU is the energy required to take one pound of water and raise it one degree Fahrenheit. So it's about 1,055 joules and 252 calories. Now, as a comparison, a barrel of crude oil, which is about 42 gallons, will give you 5.8 million BTUs of energy and 100 cubic feet of natural gas, which is about 2.83 cubic meters of gas, gives you 103,700 BTUs. So, how fast can we boil that water? Well, what do we need here is, first of all, we need to figure out how much power is delivered by the burner in terms of joules or calories. So let's do a conversion here. So 10,000 BTUs per hour. So 10,000 BTUs per hour, which is the power output of the burner. And of course, we can then multiply this times. Uh, let's see, we want to go to seconds. So seconds in the bottom, hours at the top, one hour is so 3,600 seconds. And then we want to convert from BTUs to joules. So we want joules at the top, and BTUs at the bottom. And so one BTU is 1,055 joules. And then we can convert from joules to calories, but I'm going to do that afterwards. So let's first, whoop, that's kind of messy here. Let's first calculate the, um, the amount of power received by the burner in terms of joules per second. All right, let's see what that is equal to. So we get 10,000 divided by 3,600 and times 1,055, that gives us 2,930. So that's 2,930 joules per second or watts. And then of course we can multiply the times. We wanna to go to calories, so calories per joule. And we have uh, one calorie is 4.186 joules, like that. So this then converts to if we divide this by uh, 4.186, we get almost exactly 700 calories per second. So now we're ready to calculate how long it's going to take to boil that water. So again, we start with the equation that dq is equal to mc delta t, and dividing both sides by dt, we get the power is equal to dq dt, which is equal to mc delta t divided by delta small t. Large t is temperature, small t is time. And then we solve that for delta t. So now we have delta t is equal to mc delta big t divided by the power. And of course, we are going to have to multiply the power times the efficiency because it's only half of the total energy that we get into the water. So, this is equal to the mass of the water, 1,000 grams, one liter, has a mass of 1,000 grams. C in terms of calories is one calorie per gram per centigrade degree. Delta T would be 80 centigrade degrees, 80 centigrade degrees, and divide the whole thing by 700 calories per second, 700 calories per second, but then with the efficiency, we have to multiply times a factor of 0 0.5 because it's only 50% efficient. All right, what is that equal to? 10,000, oh, 1,000 grams times 80 divided by 0 0.5 divided by 700 equals 229 seconds. That's equal to 229 seconds. 
And of course, if we convert that to minutes, divide by 60, that gives us 3.81 minutes. 3.81 minutes. So in a little under four minutes, we can boil that water. Wow, that's a lot faster, a lot more efficient, and you can do it at night when there's no sunshine, although you do have to have the natural gas and you do need to pay for it. I wonder how much it costs to heat that water. Sounds like we're going to do one more video to see how much we would have to pay to pay for the gas to heat that water, but you can see that it is difficult to give up the convenience of being able to boil one liter water in less than four minutes when we, with a solar oven, a solar cooker, it will take well over an hour to do the same thing. Hmm. And that is how it's done. So the trick is to make the BTU so expensive that you were willing to uh, wait an hour. Premium price. That will do it. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's find out how much it